But what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another edition of the Death Fresh Show. It is I, Mr. Tone Death, and we are on day one, tour one, stop one of the What Is Love tour. Cause if it is in love. Damn, that's what we should have used. <laughs> that's what we should have used, honestly, dog. But uh, the reason for this particular tour that we are on is because a lot of people don't know what love is. Some people use love as an excuse to make bad choices in life. Other people mistaken lust for love. I've never made a bad decision. Some people put their love, love all over the place. Some people are only looking for the love below. Fire ass out, by the way. And unfortunately, there's some people who have never experienced love. So in order for us to start this tour off, right? <laughs> You're going to make me cry. Okay. <laughs> in order for us to start this tour off correctly, we have to go to the initial beginning is, what is love? Like, what's love really? got to do? Got to do with it. You gonna sing every. This is what we do. You, you. Hey, Loki. You know she was like, "It's a secondhand emotion." But let's start right there. Who needs a heart when your heart can be broken? Mm. But in her big bars from Tina Turner. In her defense, and I know you watched the movie. Ike was whooping her ass. That's when she made the song when she was free. I don't know if she was Britney Spears free because Britney out here showing the whole world where you can love on, but. I get it. So, I feel I feel like when she did I don't want to fight no more, that was like her diss song night. It probably was. Like, look, bro, I don't want to keep doing this with you. Nobody wants to nobody that's not look. But after this limo situation, she was probably like, right, I don't where the I don't where, mind whooping your camera, ass every where now. Where the and camera again. at? So for all of y'all out there, you if you gotta physically put your hands on somebody or be aggressive in the relationship to make a person think that you love them, that's not love. And make sure you catch us on the, uh, the toxic tour that's coming up because toxicity is real. Oh, can I be the can I be the toxic can I be the toxic Avenger? Shut up. I got here late, so I don't even do y'all introduce me. No, I'm getting, no, we, we, get, we I'm just there. we just getting there. That's how okay. we start. Oh, okay. I'm that's fine. why he made me restart the intro. Right. Because oh. I, I was telling him, I'm like, you gonna start this show, and then soon as we get into it. You gonna get up and walk away. Oh. Soon as that nigga hit the intro button, he got up and walked away. Cause then he like, wasn't even back on time. Cause she was like, "I'm like Sherman and then Fond du Lac." I'm like, "Cause I didn't get the seven thirty. She is. She didn't get the update. Well, that was my fault. She didn't get the update. It's it's cool. He didn't. He didn't. You know. You know. Sometimes you turn your Xbox on and don't update. You move to the the gra- You got moved to the graduation wall. <laughs> You graduated out. You are no longer a teaching pod. You are now, you know, a successful solo pod. But speaking of podcasts, we have been joined today by two lovely young ladies. Um, before we go any further, for those of you guys who have been watching the promotional material, in the words of a pay-per-view flyer, card subject to change. So unfortunately, you may have seen other people, but I still got two dope-ass people who I love to death which is why they're here with us today. Yeah. Um, starting immediately to my left, one-fourth of the wildest podcast in the city of Damn, Milwaukee. Damn, you want to know your left from your right? <laughs> yes. Apparently you didn't, but... I just had to... You had to, you had to map I, it can out. I, can I finish my intro? Yeah, Lamb, because he did the cold-ass intro. Can I finish my intro, bro? All right. So, immediately going. to my left, one-fourth of the wildest podcast in the city of Milwaukee, originating from TDR Network. I have just jazz of topics of the trenches. What's going on? Radio voice on. Can, hey, can, can I get a round of applause, Mike? Hey, uh, <laughs> oh, oh. It's, it's, it's a applause. It's, it's, it's there. It's there. It's there. Bring it, bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. <sighs> and let's be honest. I can't talk about love without having the flyers, girl. Hey. In the city of Milwaukee. What? Ooh. One of the. Er- okay. Don't put that kind of pressure on me. The, you see, hold on. Just, okay. I'm getting there in a minute. Hold okay. on. Okay. See, got to pay attention to the wordplay. Okay. I got Miss Trina Nicole, aka Fly Girl with Fibro in the building with us today, aka yeah. your favorite nail tech, aka I do this shit vibe. <laughs> oh my. Whoa, Big shit. Okay. 
All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so <laughs> it, it's 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 great to have both of y'all here. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. It is definitely good because both of y'all have been on a serious uh, break. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Just for like a two months. I've been on break for like two years. Oh damn! Right. Okay. But okay. Jesus, since the pandemic started, but, but she, she with fibro, you can't take a chance. I didn't you not while she was gone, bro. So you gotta take, can't take a chance. Uh, we, we getting back to it. We, we getting we back to it. it. I got we, we got shit to do. Going on, where we got I've shit been to at. do. Starting to be outside though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they outside. Ooh, they outside. We outside. All the pretty we people outside. outside. We outside. Right outside. So let's go ahead and let's jump off with the with the most Vegas fucking question in the world. What is love to you? I thought you was gonna ask what a hoes was. I, I know where they are. They ain't on this show. Huh? They not on this show. They not on this show. No, no, no. Damn right. I'm looking for some hoes. No, Jesus. <laughs> she dead ass. She dead ass serious, man. She not playing. We, we need to be with her. I gotta go where she go, bro. I mean, but you know, I guess we can let the guests okay. start. You, know? yes. what, you know, I mean, because I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all gonna ask me what love is? I you know, and the, you. the craziest part is that's legitimately the answer that I've been getting from everybody. Yeah. Like everybody will give me what their ideal relationship is, how they are when they're in love, but they can never describe exactly what love is. I feel yeah. like love. It, it encompasses so much though because there's so many different types of love because you got like love for your children love for right. so I guess it's just like to what the relationship is to what person you know romantic love is it I don't know love well, is just, it encompasses we not, so are we much. not speaking about love for your children because that's obviously a different type of love no, you, no, no, no. it's not though because like oh, no. you can love your kids and still be like fuck them kids oh yeah <laughs> Okay. Because we got that's, kids. That's why it's a different dynamic. Right. We yeah, got yeah. kids. I love like Noah to no end, oh, but I don't know. fuck with dog like that. And you know that. And it's different love languages. Ooh. You gotta like figure kids. out how you want huh? you know what your love language like, no, is. Have... How you want to be loved. You don't want her kids? What? You nah. thought he had kids? I thought game. you were saying that. No. I... My pull out game too valid. Strong. Gotcha. Okay. Strong as the shit in my cup. <laughs> <laughs> See the sober side of the table over here. Yeah, I ain't trying to be sober. Oh, oh. I ain't trying to be sober, really, but y'all, I ain't got nothing. Y'all ain't got nothing that I drink. What do you drink? Casa? They got some casa. Oh, okay. I don't want any of that. I mean, I'm. You drink, uh, you drink eighteen hundred. Mm. Well, look, if, if Ooh, you drink some tequila when hell? you yeah, leave like here, maybe good. next time we talk, you can tell me what love is. I just feel like love. I think of... everybody got their own definition of love. Yeah, you got to know your love language, how you want to be loved. Mm-hmm. The other person needs to know how they want to be loved to even mm-hmm. start anywhere. But I just think it's like, um, it's a, it's definitely, it's a feeling. But when you, I don't know, you know why? Because I've never been in love, so I don't know. Okay, okay let's pause. I'm 37 years old and I've never been in love. It's a goddamn shame. <laughs> what you the? You don't f- look 37, first of all. First of all. At all. Mama just turned 37. Okay. But I just want y'all to know she childish as fuck. Hey, I just want I want the world to know that there's a few people that you know they 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 right now when I was like 22, 37 didn't look you. Now 37 sitting on the other side of this table and it's bad the motherfucker. 37. I'm just telling you, it's a new breed of 40-year-olds coming out. Bro, when I text you, <laughs> when I text you at 2 30 at night. About hanging out with a forty-year-old. She was cold. That was it. Was the reason I told you that. Bro. Stone cold, Steve. Austin. Just getting you together. Okay, so let's start here. How do you like? How do you want to be loved? Oh, I feel like how do you want to play? Okay, so do you want? Let me tell y'all what I be doing. What you? Be doing? I do my love manifestations. That's you why too. you here. Yes, okay, me too. So I got all my crystals on my stones, and I, you know, when I do talk to the moon air now people be looking at me so like girl what are you talking about but when i do my manifestations like i'm very intentional and very mm-hmm. specific about Absolutely. what i want so okay. how i want to be loved i want to be adored i want to be respected okay i want loyalty i want honesty um i my love language is quality time and physical mm-hmm. touch are my top two so how you gonna how I'm how my love tank is gonna feel full is that you want to spend time with me. And this is the thing is like they be thinking when you say spend time, like you gotta plan these extravagant ass and don't let's just we can go let's to Target. Be simple and let's go to Target and hold hands. 
Absolutely. <laughs> it's not yeah. that deep. It's like, not at all. So and men still just don't get it. Like, just it's, don't get it's, it. It's, it's sad, it's honestly. Just little but, things. You know, I totally understand. I get it because I, I, I feel like that was yours too. Yeah. Call it time to touch on my time. You don't, we don't have to be doing the same activity, but as long as you're in the room yeah, or you're somewhere like, yeah. where I right, am, exactly. yeah. as long as you're still in the vicinity, I'm okay. I know right, you're not outside. In your space. Yeah. Right. You know, let's back up. I like how she said her top two because I need society to stop thinking. That when you hear love language, mm-hmm. whatever that first one is, that's the that's only uh-uh. one. Right. Absolutely. Like the other five do four. Other four do right. matter. So it's just that you don't care too much about gift giving. That's but that don't gift. mean don't give me no don't give me no period. Period. Absolutely. <laughs> right. you know that's my I'm just more likely two, to go honestly. buy it myself because yeah. that's where I'm at. Right. But if you bought it for me and sat it's here and watched better. me either, hey, play this game, yeah. work on this project. Put this together. That's gonna be okay, just. Let me tell you my ideal. Like, first of all, all the love languages are my love language. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but okay. they just got right? women. They are. So, like, let's say this: how you can encompass all of them. You taking me on a date, quality time. Mm-hmm. We on a date. You holding my hand. Right. You like kind of around. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Come with a little gift, some flowers. They're gonna receive gifts. Mm-hmm. Words of affirmation. Mm-hmm. Damn, baby, you looking. You looking good, good today. Damn, okay. See? Nick. They can see, look, they called to come back to the streets. <laughs> they called me to come back to the streets. <laughs> and acts of service, you are opening my door for yeah. me. Like, it's, it's not me, that hard. Do, do men still do that for no. you? No. I haven't had, well. You've never had no. a man open the door I for don't you? say never. Not at all. No, I'm not, no, I'm not going to say never. Because not often, but I'm going to stop. Like, I'm I'm stopping before we get to the door because you need to get the door. door. No, I did just go on a date recently. Open he did all of those things. I was like, as okay, he should. Okay. okay, as he should. So he opened the door, took my coat off, took, pulled the chair out. Okay. Then, yeah. then the don't make him like that. No. I was like, are you taking my coat off? That's, that, that's, that, that, that's, that, that's that older generation. Right. No, he's that's younger than me. Younger than How much younger? How old is he? He's 35 and 37. No, that still, that still counts. That's still counts. He still made his mistakes and he done now. Right. My 35-year-old experience wasn't good. No. Because, out. first of all, that's really? a big 10-year yeah. gap. So if he down there, he... No, let me tell you. Oh, hold on. Let me tell you. I'm saying that he down there. I have to go back. What you just say? The older generation? Because no, because 40 year old somethings <laughs> that I had still don't know what they want. Oh, you I know? tried no. that yet. Oh, no, but I might have to. I'd have had 41, so I, 42. I tried to help you out, one. Right. Now they're they, 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 they bashing us. No, because they're bashing us. <laughs> they're not bashing us. They, they're, they they're not hating us. Honestly, bro. The dating game fucking sucks right it now. Does. Like Seriously. we on Facebook all the time, right? Yes. And we see it on a day to day basis. What are women constantly saying? What they say? Niggas, Niggas ain't. Shit. There you go. <laughs> Niggas ain't shit. Niggas ain't putting forth no effort, no bro. Effort. There That's was a is. whole effort, conversation effort. about applying pressure, yep. and niggas oh want to use examples of dumb shit. Is this applying pressure? This is what this is what y'all want. Like, bro, right now there's a whole fucking argument about the fact that women who want to have self love. Mm-hmm. Now that it's snow, oh, is that roll shoveling your snow? Like, nigga, that's not the same, that's thing. Not the same thing. So, niggas is stupid now, bro. Oh, guess what? I'm glad that you said it. I'm glad you said it. I know we, 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 we say it all the time. Like, y'all bashing us exactly. all day yeah. because the men who are arguing about dumb shit are usually the men who don't understand what you're asking right. for. That's very true. But they're not putting forth the effort to ask. Well, what do you mean? And right. also, it's just that simple. Hold. It's like instead of saying somebody asked me this recently, and this is what I told them: when I say apply pressure, I'm not saying you got to come with you know extravagant gifts and all. That's nice. It is. I'm saying if you know that. I'm a hustler. You know me. I'm a hustler. I'm working six days a week. And you know yeah, I'm at the shop from all day, right? You right. know that's where I'm at. Pull up on me with some lunch. Pull up on yes. me. Pull up on me with, you know my Starbucks order. And if something. you can't come, door dash. Yeah. You know where I'm lazy. at. Pull up with some flowers. Niggas be lazy. Too. It's so simple. Like, a pressure. How much? Flowers be six ninety nine at yep. Pick You damn right. Pull up on me with some flowers and some Starbucks. Like, I know you in here grinding all day. You probably haven't eaten... Let me here you go. Your Starbucks. What's the order. quality of flowers like at Pick and Save? I don't know. They're good. good. I buy them all the time. If I work at Pick and Save, I tell you, they're amazing. They got, for they $12.99, you can get some nice, nice 
white they, they roses. Decent. They decent. They decent. Okay. Decent. How do we know what the quality of flowers are like in the grocery store? I'm home? not a big flower girl, I, don't so flowers. I wouldn't know the difference anyway. Oh, I just buy you a crystal rock. Just get you. Listen, one of, if you know you, I like crystal, pay attention to details. Like, details. Get you, get you a topaz. Get you a couple of lapis lazuli every once in a while. To make it, to make it rain, dance. Huh? <laughs> if you know that I like red lipstick. Give me a Mac. You don't gotta go buy the. Go give okay. me a Mac gift card. Also, that's a gift card. I Call mean, back. That's where, them no, no, that's that. where them tedious ass questions no, 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 come no. in. No, I'll get it. Okay, funniest thing in the world. When we used to still be over at the old spot, right? Right. When I started working with her, I asked her, "What's your favorite color?" He's like red. Okay, cool. What did I do with your very first recording? Was the mic cover red? Oh, mic well, cover was fuck. red. Yep. See, because we That's listen. And it's crazy. Her, my favorite photo of her is her literally looking over the microphone oh, the with microphone. this red microphone yeah. in front of her. <laughs> Damn, where my she? You didn't tell me your favorite color because you said that was a tedious question. Yeah. I was here on my birthday and shit. Why the fuck did you come to work on your birthday? I told you happy birthday. First of all, yo people didn't yeah. take care of you. Niggas didn't. You said none of your niggas? Oh, like my friends. Oh. I shouldn't say my niggas. Because we're your friends. A lot of my niggas went on my niggas shit too. list on my birthday. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Too. A lot of my 2021 niggas wanna... got left in 2021. Because they're clowns. Like, no, birthdays no, on, are wait, big we, we, we to not, me. We're not, we not gonna bash them. I can't say clowns. We're not gonna bash them, but you can say that they just, they dropped the ball. Oh, yeah, yeah let's, let's, let's keep it clean. Let's keep it clean. He don't want. I'm pretty sure he don't want me to jump off the deep end and start calling people bitches and hoes. Because oh, <laughs> right. that's how I be feeling okay. about the female population. Some of y'all are bitches and hoes. Okay, but, but let's back up. Not I mean, they just. Crime. I feel like men drop the ball a lot, especially on birthdays, mm-hmm. Christmas, shit like that. We 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 fucking and shit. We I'm thinking that we're mm-hmm. dating and we're exclusively dating. My birthday roll around. Christmas rolls ah, around. That do, you might have, be do you have that conversation, conversation that y'all exclusive? Exactly. And now in the in the in the past, have I no? So in my head, you just shit, I'm exclusive. I, I don't Nigga, blame you. Ain't exclusive. I be. Ex- I, I don't blame you because sometimes it's like mm, I just you just think it. Yeah, no, I gave God. you myself. Yes, you got it. And you I'm gotta, acting you like gotta damn. Put that label. I yeah, you, you right. got it. But I like, and I think of part of the problem in in 2020 and 2021 was too many people were comfortable with not having that label. That's true. They was like, well, it is what it is. Situation, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Oh if you God. know, you know. And it's like, no, That's exactly no, 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 no. Like, oh my God. Let's assume I don't know. So tell me, I need to fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> What bro say? That's how we all end up in work, yeah. end up right. in these little situations. Right. And I said, I mean, 2022. I'm not doing no situation. Yes. No. Communication is big. I'm not doing none of that. How do you, How do you want to be loved? We ain't forgot about that question. Because for some, you said you've never been in love. No, I've never. I've. I feel like I've genuinely loved a man and realized, like, damn, this nigga do not love me like that. Like, what the hell? I'm bailing you out of jail. I'm oh. watching your kids. Oh, I'm God. looking out. I'm looking out for your mama. Oh, I'm, where can I meet this Whoa. kind of woman? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, because when I be listening to I'm some women like what, tell what? their story, they be like, <laughs> "Ooh, it's fucking up." It was like I'm bailing him out of jail. I'm like, like what? Yeah. I can't get a bitch to go have bro. On, there was I literally on some sneakers. I I just but seen you went post. and got a nigga out of the penitentiary. <laughs> Bro, What's I wrong just with seen him? a post where a girl was ready to do 20 years for her nigga. Ain't no fucking way. Like, Damn. she was going to take the L for him, and they was going to slap 20 on him. See, that's my love language. Taking but, L's? No. Cre- cre- you want create <laughs> Didn't a, we say don't do create, that? Create a sneakers app. That me? Oh, cre- sorry. Cre- create a profile on the sneakers app for you to get right. Help me get <laughs> shoes. That's my love language. love language. Okay, you know, and That's you know cute. what? And because you my nigga, I ain't even gonna sweat you. I give you your money back to put in your account. Okay. Just help me get my shoes. Okay. I got a problem paying you <laughs> That's back. That's reasonable. But help real. me show me that you take interest in the shit that I like. If okay. you know I like yeah. sneakers, oh baby, you know I seen these. You know you might like these. What you send me a picture? What you think about? It? Okay, cool. Grab my cash app. Right okay, now. period. You know what I'm saying? Because I okay, like shit. What are you doing, like? Me? Yeah. I feel like She's I do doing a lot. That. Okay. So feel like I feel like giver? I'm. I feel like I'm the type of nigga that whatever. Like if I fuck with you, yeah. Whatever you ask for, yeah. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. And if I can't do it, I'm gonna find a way to do it okay. because I fuck with you. Right. Because. I know if my mama called me or if my nigga called me, I'm gonna make sure my homie straight. I'm gonna make sure my people straight. That right there has been a big thing for me. A lot of men I run into, like when it comes to their niggas, 
they'll put their fucking heels and grab their purse and run out the fucking door oh, to oh kick my. it with their niggas. Mm-hmm. But when it come to me, oh, I'm, we gonna have to do something later. Like, damn. Niggas love being loyal to them niggas. Yes. Niggas love they niggas. But I'm bailing yeah. you out of jail. I'm answering them calls. I just want to say this live. Uh, why, why we here? <laughs> on this pod. Okay. What? I love Tone. Okay. Two days. Mm-hmm. Bottom boy. of my heart. That's okay. my nigga. I would, okay. I would, hide but I would, would not put him <laughs> before the lady that I'm putting my dick in. I would hope so. Unless he finna die. <laughs> if if nigga, call, it'd be like, bro, I'm gonna die if you don't do this. That's the only way I'm gonna put you before my girl. If I find oh out that he had ass on deck. But you trying to come watch the new Spider Man movie? I'm yeah. kicking this nigga out of my car right there. Like, bro, you gotta go. Be with like, your you bitch. Go, or be with right. your woman. Whatever you call right. her, be with her. Right. Like he can come over by my car. Like, hey, bro, I need you to just get away for a minute. It's like, all right, in about thirty minutes. All right, so what you about to do? Like, <laughs> you can't stay here, bro. Go home and fix that problem. Right. Whatever. Yeah. You're not gonna be here, dog. That's my nigga. You dog. know, I feel like a lot of dudes are secretly gay. Oh, oh my. You said it. Did we just don't go there. I mean, look at the look at the behavior that some people exhibit. They sit up under their niggas twenty four seven, but can't sit up under their girl. Apparently, but like, some ass. See, and this is why I feel like if you get a girl that kind of like the same shit you like, yeah, I ain't got yeah. no reason to be with my niggas. Right. Exactly. You smoke weed? Guess what? I oh. do too. <laughs> yeah. So when I came home or when I got to your house, the blunt was already rolled. <laughs> Yo, the PlayStation was already on. You act like it takes forever for the PlayStation to load. But I'm, but I'm saying though, like, but see, that's the shit. Like, show, like, if I do everything to show you that I'm interested in you, even if it's the shit that I don't fuck with, but because I like you, I keep an open mind. Right. Do the simple shit. So let me ask you a question: How much are you willing to step outside your box for a girl that you like? As long as she's not asking me to fuck another nigga, everything Whoa. is a conversation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I'm saying, though, no, I no. know some chicks that like the peg niggas, no. fam. I need you to chill out for a minute here, bro. I'm sorry. Kind of. My bad. Did I get kind of out there with the shark? <laughs> <laughs> Left out. But I'm saying, kinda. though. But the point was that, like, as long as she ain't asking me to do some shit that she know for a fact I'm not into. Everything is but uh, the reason I'm asking that question is like let's let's take the wild sexual experience out the window. Let's say because I know you well enough, you you simple, easy, stay at home. Let's say, hey, babe, Chinese operas in town. I want to go. Chinese <laughs> opera. Right? Like, what the fuck? Yo, but that might. The only question I'm asking is, can we smoke before we go? Okay. Can we smoke on the way there? Because because I know it's lit and it's going and once you high, everything is lit. I'm just saying, like, yeah. are you are you willing to step outside Hell, your culture box? Yes, we're going to see the Chinese opera on fucking weed. <laughs> you is funny for shit. You've but never I, been to a, I, but, Have but, you ever been to an opera? No. You, it's funny. Have you ever been to a Chinese ballet? Definitely not, not a Chinese one. <laughs> A Chinese ballet is literally damn near an opera, from what right. I from what I see. I, okay. see, I'm, I just, and it's I'm funny, a culture just, for Christ's sake. Don't don't let the jerseys fool you. I do go do that I, that fancy I, shit. I, I saw a I saw a commercial like that, and it was for the Chinese ballet. It was Chinese. It ballet. was just here. It was just here, and that's what made me think about. It. It's like, damn, I want to go see that, but I know for a fact the people I fuck with, that's not they vibe. Right. So I'm like, I want to do something different. Yeah. This is why I have the friends I have because I have one or two friends who are. Into that sophisticated shit, right. they they drink they wine with they pinky out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> they get that shit. They get that shit, and I can hang out with them. We can do that, and I go back to you know my simple life with my you know simple kids with your nigger friends and my nigger friends. You know, hard oh, er, uh, and have I'll be at the opera, and my group text will be like filthy as hell because it's balanced. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's balanced. So you know, I, sometimes got I, feel like I do think. No, I agree that I do think you. Like th- people always be like opposites attract, and that's fine. But I do think you gotta get with somebody that do got some similarity. Right. Like I talked to a dude that did not; he don't like to be outside, which is fine. But sometimes I want to go outside. Yeah, I understand. Outside. I like to like go with my guy and let's go have a drink and let's have a good time. And I'm like, cute. You don't want to show me all right. the fuck? So I'm like, this is never gonna work. See, first like of all, I'm trying to find out what <laughs> niggas is keeping these two locked up. I mean, yeah, I, 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 I personally because I don't be, like to go. I personally outside. would be like, okay, but, 
at, the, at the Yay. same time, when your girlfriend or somebody that you you know you rock it with be like, you know, I know you don't like to go outside, but you know, let's go do this. I think yeah. you would like. It. Now, yeah. motherfucker, just say, nah, we ain't doing that. Yeah, that's. That's a red flag. But like, or at least be open. Like, right. okay, you might not like to go outside, but I want to go outside sometimes. So let's right. get dressed and let's go have some drinks. And, and if you don't do it for her, let's go to the Dak yeah, show. Do it. Damn. Do the it. Shout out to Dak. Do it for the sake of the fact I love that. Them. That's what you should need to be having a conversation I'm with. I'm getting them. Go, hold on. <laughs> calm down. Everybody don't need to know who's on the tour. I haven't been there. Oh, it's dope. It it's a vibe. Should we go? Okay, we can go to Dak Shack. Yeah, okay, let's go as a family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Family was the wrong one. I'm going I'm to keep that in mind, nigga. You be like, hey, all right, bro, I'm pulling up. I don't give a fuck. I'm pulling up on you. Let's go as a family. That's a family. That's what we're going to do. Okay. I think I'm saying, why not? I mean, shit. Y'all do You shit. don't drink daiquiris. Is alcohol in it? Of course it is. Is it fruity? Yeah, it can't like be. it's up my yeah, fucking alley. That, that I'm young, flavor. Tone. That's how I was introduced to alcohol. It's it was pink, in a, it was in a daiquiri. It's a pink panty, bro. Basically. Right? Mm-hmm. No, but I'm talking about panties. before we start, before we knew what pink panties it's was. Really moms really was really making like strawberry daiquiri, dropping a what, shit that, ton of was, vodka. Was that a butter. staple in the black community? Yes, it is. Because <laughs> like people Yo, who had black couches. With the lions mm-hmm. drunk strawberry daiquiris yes. with their Hennessy. Yeah, yes. Mm-hmm. That's that's how you that's probably the best way to digest Hennessy mm-hmm. in a daiquiri. I don't know. The I've best got, way I've gotten used to it with, with, with Red Bull. Right, it's yeah. not to drink it at all. <laughs> first of all, you're not first of all, don't waste my money. <laughs> <laughs> that, sound, that sounded like alcohol abuse, didn't it? <laughs> Hold on, bro was mad. The audience the audience but, highly upset. Uh, what was he talking about? We were talking but, about yeah, I'm saying like even if you not interested in it, you should go for the yeah, sake of the, sake of the fact that that's the vagina that you're trying to fuck. I agree. I feel like so I'm even if you don't well, go, why do we gotta just be a I was getting ready to I'm say that. Saying, I'm just, I'm here to. Let think. me tell you one thing about me. Listen, I'm here to think <laughs> this is why I do is get kicked. I will, I will block, delete, ghost. If we just starting to talk mm-hmm. and you bring up sex mm-hmm. in the first couple mm-hmm. conversations, text, it's immediately turned off. Yeah. I was talking so we can make like sexual jokes because sex is fun. Hold on, what do you want? Not so. when I first meet it. I, so. Jokes not are not so bad, but it's like if you coming at me like that's what you own. Yeah. You know why? Because niggas like me, my feeling like niggas like to lust after me instead of getting to know me. She's a bomb exactly. ass. I mean, but she's she is pretty though. But she's a bomb. I feel ass like women be forgetting they be pretty and shit. Because and be like, got, okay. why he lost motherfucker? Because you're fine. But, but you have to understand. Like, have some balance there. Yeah. Right. You have to understand, Juan. Some people don't have any. Juan, you Keep have to understand. Pretty girls hear it all the time. If all day, every day, in them filthy ass DMs, yeah. is constant <laughs> dude shooting a shot, what makes you different? Find out about my vibe. Mm-hmm. My sister, one time I was sitting there talking to her, and she said one of the realest statements I have ever heard. The pussy is yours to lose. Meaning that if you got my inner, my, my, my attention and I'm vibing with you, right. we're going to eventually fuck. But it's you who will fuck it up for you never Absolutely. to get the pussy. That's very true. That's a fact. That's very So the true. pussy is yours to lose. That's what the name of this episode should be. And they be. always lose. <laughs> the pussy is yours to lose? Right. What is pussy? That, that's, that's what makes the world go around. <laughs> so what is pussy? The what is what? I, thought, I thought it was gangsters. It's currency. Mm, gangsters, <laughs> gangsters for pussy. P- pussy is currency. Gangsters. Pussy is gangster as hell. But yeah. you said something earlier, uh, Trini, that uh, I want to go ahead and double back on. Okay. Red flags. Mm. Red flags. Um, mm, mm, mm. What are some of y'all red flags? Like. Let me restart my live video so we can talk Kids. about that I'm the queen of ignoring Baby the red mamas. flags. Hell yeah. Look like six <laughs> flags. I'm you got a problem with ignoring the red flags? I don't okay. think I'm de- I'm not doing that shit no more. Okay. Not if they only got one? Hey, look. I'm not yo, doing that shit no more. You, you, what? It don't even cool. be the kids be the fucking baby mamas. Not everybody got bad baby mamas, though. I'm definitely not a bad baby mama. What I'm learning That's good. in life is that your standards are your standards. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Whatever whatever shit that you conjure up in your brain right. is what you feel. Work for you. Stand on your shit. 
Let me look at my in my notes. Oh, Red flags. Notes. Um, she got notes. Yeah, I gotta hold this. My manifestation. That, oh shit. That, that is long. She got all, yeah. she got all the notes. That is that is. And I have to keep going. Um, okay, so I, I personally a, I attract a lot of men that are emotionally unavailable. Ooh. Oh if he's showing God. that off top, it is what it is. Like, ain't no amount of nothing you're gonna do gonna make that man what, explain what, what, that a little bit. What does emotionally what unavailable look like? Emotionally unavailable. Please explain. No, I'm trying to learn. No, no, like, right, right, yeah, not just y'all in general. Explain. Like, like when men like are emotionally unavailable, like, it's like you know, it doesn't matter what they do. You just you can't get anything from them. Mm-hmm. Like. You can get lust, yeah, but that's about so they'll it. They'll fuck you for sure, but no affection, yep. attention. Mm-hmm. They just don't well, be in tune. So playing devil's advocate, like a hug? is that what you're saying? Sometimes I just need Sometimes a hug. You, you see why hug. Kim Kardashian divorced Kanye? Something she said that so man. Simple. I, he buy me all the extravagant things, but all I want is somebody to get up and come to the gym with me, or give me a hug, or hold because, my hand. Because okay, so I don't know about Kanye. You're talking Kanye about nine billion dollars. I hold no fucking hand. That's, but, that's, what her, my, my, her that's probably but yeah, what that's she her said love. in this yeah, that's that's her love But the thing about it is, is a lot of men don't know how to show their emotions. They were they one wasn't raised to be that kind of person, or B they they didn't see an example of what it. You know, as black folks, we are just now like it's literally the last five years is when we actually started accepting the fact that therapy is a thing. Right. And it's not even even the older generation. It's the younger generation that dive in. So a lot of people that are 35 and over still won't do therapy. Yeah, They don't think true. it's necessary or I don't want the white folks in my business. That's why you got to find a black therapist. And Shout out to my of, black woman therapist. And that, there are a lot of black therapists out there. You know, I do got my license. I can't put you on the couch in the help you sort out you that do, craziness. You do? That's how yeah. you be helping me for real. That's probably why our conversation is so Yeah, good. something like a therapist. The something fuck? like a therapist. Because I, I, I don't practice. You went to therapy school? Yeah, so did all that shit. Oh, what? Oh, what oh. The, yeah. Bro, he like 50. He didn't live. <laughs> Dude, he didn't did some shit in his I'm life. 40, 40, Shut I'm 43. Up. Folks, but, folks is, he and, damn near that's how we be a hurt. Oh, I'm 43. He, he might start like marrying was, motherfuckers. Y'all ain't careful. You know what? All it takes is be four hours online to get ordained, bro. Don't yeah. play. But no, it's the only reason why I never continue to actually practice. Practice you said four hours because no matter what, I still couldn't manage my own depression. Mm-hmm. So it's like, how can I help you get through mm-hmm. shit when five minutes before you came in my office? Mm-hmm. I'm battling my own issue. I'm right here crying. Right. Like, <laughs> I'm trying to get my shit together. You going to come but in and start crying. I came, to find, crying. I came to find out I'm I'm a mute. Can we say, tell men, it's okay to cry. For real. Oh, yeah, it I cry all the time. It's okay to be emotional. It's okay yeah, to you, have emotion. You know what's crazy? I cried when Pusey got killed through Orange is a New Black. Okay. That shit cut deep. <laughs> you know what would be crazy? <laughs> A lot oh, of you people go back and watch that episode. And tell me, you a lot of people make fun of me for being a cancer. Oh, because you're emotional. Then, cancer see, but, it's well, everybody want a nigga That's with cancer like <laughs> qualities in this bitch. No, 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 no. Here's the problem. They be like, they I want, need a nigga in tune with his sensitive they side. They want, they want Show you to be some in tune affection. with your insensitive side, but they also want you to pop a nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm, I'm bringing, That's exactly. I'm and you not and the most people you not gonna find both. I'm pretty sure yeah, I should shut up. Because true. the nigga who is crying and still pop a nigga ain't got it all upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> well, most people no, probably. I think you know what it's like. Most, you know what it is. It's like we like to know that, like, if some shit go down, we you we like you to feel protected. protected. Right. But we still want you to be tapped in and tuned in with yeah. self enough that you're able to communicate those mm-hmm. feelings. Like, if I did something, tell me. Don't give me the silent treatment. Yeah. Don't niggas love ignoring and they ghosting. Do. Just say what say what it is. Wait a minute, y'all. Ghost like a motherfucker too. So okay, so <laughs> let's, let's not here, put that on one here's group, a, here's a one question. genre. It's on both of y'all because y'all I don't, know y'all ghosts. I don't think people take time to acknowledge how people process. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, that could be and a thing. Fine. So mm-hmm. just because you do some bullshit on Monday, yeah, and I don't talk to you right. Monday night, and I don't talk to you Tuesday, don't think I ain't forgot about what you did. I just know. <laughs> That me personally, I need to be in the right headspace okay. to have a conversation okay. with you, so it can remain a conversation. Well, we're just not but, gonna talk. We we're can, not gonna but not talk. Here's, but here's, yeah, the prob- here's the problem with that. 
What? During that two days, mm. that person has at least tried to hit you up. You can at least say, you know what? Give me some. Give me, time. give me a couple. I mean, I don't. I'll respond. I'll respond. I'm low key like busy, but you know, give me a couple days. We'll talk know about it. what the situation is, but I don't want you to think that I'm ignoring <laughs> you or I forgot what the fuck you did. I just know myself. Right. So, why so I need to. That? I need to be in the process. I, yeah. I, I hey, don't babe, want to tell you know, that. Hey, babe. You know, this happened. Whatever. Just give me, a, give me some time mm-hmm. to process this. I yeah. just need some space, but we'll talk. I'm gonna hit you up. Oh, right. okay. Yeah. See, I'm rude. I'll be like, shit. you know, what? I'm, you know, I still love you. I ain't fucking with you right now because you know. And that's fine. That's you know what you, you, you know what you did. Shit. But that's real. That, at the end of the day, you've expressed. Yes, that's, that's the most that's important what we be part. Yeah. Be you've expressed, even though you said it like I ain't fucking with you right now, mm-hmm. and they'd be like, "Well, fuck you too." But you express like, "Look, hey, you know what you did." When she respond, "Fuck you too," you gotta see me now. <laughs> now we now we've been having this conversation while Juan's in a bad head. But that's probably why they said fuck you too, because they know this is your trigger. Right. And we're gonna talk about it. If you somebody that like know you, they know you, they go. Yeah, don't like, fucking trigger me. Don't yeah. I will hope they're not trying to hit me. Push oh. buttons. Fuck you too. All right, we gotta pull up. They shouldn't respond like Because now she want uh, now she wanna see me. Period. She wanna see these hands or something. Like that. Y'all a pistol whip you with a water gun. <laughs> oh my god. What, what? <laughs> Is it a super suck or is it the plastic one you can see through? <laughs> it makes a difference. Probably the little clear one that looked like a, a 40 cal. Okay. Mm. okay. <laughs> that might break after the second hit, so that's cool. Okay, so it depends on how hard you get. Red flag. What's, red flag? Your, what's, what's yours? Your, you said kids. Yeah. Which I get that. You don't have kids yourself. So where I'm opposite. Like I don't date men that don't have kids, or if they have little, little kids, I really don't be. Maybe that's it. I'm gonna piggyback off that. Babies. Like under why two, is the little kid to me, the issue? You don't want my answer. I do. No, that's why I, I have, ask I have you. such self I mean, me, no, no, you can let her answer. It, for me, cool. it's still the baby mama shit. I feel like y'all still very yeah, new and figuring close, out parenting, yeah. that co-parenting shit. Yeah. Y'all still figuring that shit out. I don't want none of that shit. But what if it's already established? Like, for an example, I got a co-worker. No, real talk. Because I have a co-worker um, who she's currently pregnant right now. Oh, okay. Okay. But her and her baby daddy has already established that that was a one time thing. Okay. We, we're never going to be a couple okay. in this stage of life. So if you want to go off and date somebody else, it's cool. Mm-hmm. The it's baby not, not even here yet. Yeah. Like, no, no, no. This, no, no. But this is the conversation that they're having. So when the baby is established, okay. You can, because you never know. You might be a dude who just like I can't have kids. You have a kid. We together, raise it like a mom. Stepdads matter too. Shit. They do, and I get that tone. But what about okay? Here we are, seven months, baby, screaming, crying. I got the baby. I'm by myself. Okay, let me call your dad. It's a lot for me to handle. You out with a bitch, and I'm like, but I some like I need you or something. I was like, I don't want to deal with that. Yeah. Like your baby mama calling because you got a damn near go. Get the baby, help her with the baby. The baby, but I just do understand that that no matter what, at the end of the day, if they have that kind of relationship, that baby can be two months, two years, 12. She's still gonna that be like, when they, when they call, when well, my, my boys are big and I'm not, you different. I'm not calling no, no, like, because sometimes like that. that male voice okay makes a difference. You acting up over here? Let me get your dad. I mean, on the that's phone. different. Yeah, if you call but me, now I know, get your son I know in that she, moment. Not, I know what you're talking about. You saying, I like, get what you're saying. I'm not going. I'm and I'm not trying to tell you babies. work with it, but yeah, no, I, definitely I, I think 37 year old Trina is not settling. Like I don't want to date a man with again. Your standards are no. Kids. It's your standard. Yeah. Your standard. I'm not trying to change your mind. But like in 2022, you know what? It's gonna be 50 50. Bitches gonna take me on dates. Yeah, because I don't want to pay. I don't want to pay for everything. It Actually, they should. That. If you date they somebody should. that don't believe that, that's a right. norm. Just, then... why, 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 why do why do Juan got spent all his cash? Y'all know that's right. Like why why do I got to pay for everything? No, you don't. You Not don't mean be because of how I was raised. I don't mind, but at the same time, bitch, there, offer. There's a, there's a cutoff. Did you <laughs> did you reach for your fucking purse before I went in my wallet? <laughs> or did you just watch me reach for the fucking wallet? <laughs> that was crazy. You know. Speaking on that, you know, I'm the sorry, ones these, I, these females are crazy. I know the ones I hate is when they ask you, Hey, let's go out to eat, but then expect for you to pay. Okay. Yeah, and I get it. If we in the early stages, cool, I'm probably hungry anyway. No, nah, stop inviting me. Stop inviting me. Stop because inviting you me can't places. afford to eat. 
The and last then, dog, and then they want to go somewhere way fucking OC because they know you finna pay. That's true. Bitches be I'm hungry. If you hungry on a whim, you eat McDonald's. Oh my. On so, a on a I date, I'll first, feed you steak. First of all, this, this I don't I, mean. I don't I think don't that McDonald's on anybody. When people start talking, we, we're not setting any attention mm. on what we're trying to do here. Mm. Nobody if we're really trying to anymore. date mm-hmm. versus we just, you know, we just yeah. Kicking I, in. We just kicking in. We just talking. I think that's where we we all be getting messed up. Like that's why situation. That's why titles need to be yeah. Placed. Right. That conversation. Like, like yeah. when you're dating, people don't have that conversation of what do you want. Right. Okay. I feel like okay. I just recently I met this dude. I met a new nigga in a while, so I met him. We whatever we met, we texting. So within the second day, I we're texting. Okay, we texting all day. Fuck that. I'm like, let's go get some food. He's like, okay, cool. So we, I invited him. I did pay. Um, we went to get some, ain't no we fucking get some food. Here. <laughs> we got some food drinks, but mind you, this nigga was 20 minutes late. So strike one, bitch. I'm, I'm oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, mm-hmm. I'm about to get up and leave because bitch, you're bitch, 20 I'm out. minutes late. You 20 minutes late, and I'm like. I know he's fine as hell. Let me just wait. I'm like, let me wait a little wait, bit. <laughs> wait. You should have left. Away I should have so left. Much. Yeah, See, I should have left. That, and I that's didn't another leave. thing that is wrong with us I didn't leave? as a people. No, it's because we be Let's, letting motherfuckers do oh, bullshit because yeah. we think they're pretty. You know how much shit I've let a pretty girl get away with? We probably do get away with a lot of shit. I probably would have socked the ugly bitch like, fam, you got to chill. <laughs> We Jeez. probably get away with a lot of a lot of shit because we are pretty. But um, okay, so I pay whatever. He's twenty minutes late, whatever. So we got some food, and he like let's go somewhere else. So we we were together for like two hours. Um, got some good food. I was drunk as hell. I went home by myself. He went home by himself. So then like maybe two weeks later, I'm like let's do like another date or whatever. That's on dates. Yeah. Okay. So long story short, I could tell by date two this man was not where I was and he was I'm 27 he was in his 30s and I knew baby we on two different fucking sides of the Did dating you field ever have that conversation so I didn't even let it get I swear to god we ended that second date the next day I text him I said I don't think this is gonna we're go on the more. same page literally that he never spoke to me again and that's fine but I really I maybe I caught it too quick you may have but I feel like he was Only looking because, for casual dating. I'm not casually but dating. But that's I'm okay, dating so, to eventually be in a relationship. Right. And I feel like he was not. Yeah. So you're not wrong. You, you, you're you not wrong. So you stand on your shit. If yeah. you are looking for something that yes. I am not, right? By all means, yes. You have the right to be like, hey, bro, and this is what I'm looking for. This is not what you're looking for. No, we were playing a question game. We don't have that conversation. We were playing a question, a question game, Tom, and a lot of questions was coming up. Um, you've been listening to me, haven't you? Yeah, we were playing a question (laughs) game. A lot of questions were coming up as far as like this man hadn't been like in a real relationship in like five fucking years. Okay. You're not looking for no relationship. I'm not gonna change your mind, my young ass. Maybe. Five years, he probably had to find himself. You don't know how we all heal differently. Yeah, because I definitely ain't had a serious girl. We all heal and, differently, so we don't man, know how bad that last relationship was. Until that man could, he didn't. He did not say to me, "I am looking for something serious." I said to him, "I'm looking. I'm not casually dating. I'm looking for like serious." Like, and that's when the conversation stopped. I probably I feel like my fucking face gave it away. Like the whole energy <laughs> shifted. I'm like, fuck. Time to go. But hey, it be, it be <laughs> like that. Yeah. I mean, you're not wrong. You saved yeah. yourself. You know, I really time. liked him now, but fuck it. Did you like him? Or did, did you, you like him, or were you just content fine. because he was doing everything? He was fine. He's opening doors. Um, he was funny as fuck. But he don't want to be nobody boyfriend. He, yeah. nobody boyfriend. So. he might still be broken. Or his credit bag. Somebody recently told me. Toss his called. credit score back. <laughs> he Bro, he... Yo. Yo. Okay. So you don't know this. But when you get married, y'all scores combine. So if you a nigga with like Damn. a 500 and she is like at an 850, you just bring the whole relationship down. <laughs> so there are really people out here. You don't see it that much. But as people are starting to become more and more financially savvy, there's people who don't want to date until they get their score up. Absolutely. One, their finances, they can't I mean, they it, can't waste time doing sense, dumb shit where they could be fixing their score. It was score. funny as hell. I know some people who were literally engaged for five years because during that five years, old girl was working on her credit score the whole time. He was like, I am not going to marry you until you get this score up. 
So we better clean all this shit up. At least he helped her. Though. I mean, yeah, he helped her. So he helped her because right, he knew that's where he wanted. That's to where be. he wanted to be. But I'm you look. Darnell I can Jones buy. I can buy a half a million well, dollar home <laughs> if I marry you. We can only get a cottage in the hood. Mm-hmm. So yeah. <laughs> you don't think Darnell Jones said the best? I'm saying Darnell. He was so upset about niggas pronouncing his name wrong. He be cheating on bitches, and then be in the rain. Yeah, I don't know. Somebody, a guy recently told me that he felt like I didn't know what I wanted. And I don't you know don't sometimes. Shit. Damn, did you? Why know? you feel like you? Do you feel like you portrayed that? Like you don't know what you like you didn't know what you wanted. You no, don't sometimes. I, why you said What you, what you lust and what you want don't always match up. Mm. Do you I feel like you were know. direct with that man? That's a gem. No, no, and then it's not. It's not a disrespect. A lot of times, people. Like, bitch, I call it a, a lot of people like I want a man that has A, B, C, D, mm-hmm. E, F, G. Mm-hmm. But damn, this 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 K over here looking good. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna give this K. Well, a that's kind of what he said. He was mm-hmm. like, you. He was like, I think. First of all, he said he think I like being for the streets. I'm like, dang, I like being for the streets. But what he was saying, he said he think I like the process of dating and okay. and different attention and okay. going. Out. And I was like, I don't mind it. But it's because nobody really has like caught my attention enough mm. for make make me feel like oh I'm zeroing in and this is what I'm doing and I'm I'm a rock with him, including him. Yeah. So, so shit. What does it take for somebody to get to that point? So what does it take for somebody to get to that point? Everything we've been talking about, talking about effort, <laughs> attention, consistency. You can't. Mm, oh, we God. can't be texting the stuff, but and then I don't hear from you for a couple not of days. Consistent. Like what? We, we work hard. Hey, sometimes shit happens. No, I don't it's like that. I was an excuse. I was an excuse. Just say I'm. O- I'm even okay with if you know you got. Because I, I had one guy. Um, he was like super entrepreneur, got plenty of business. He grinding, and and I love that. That's very attractive mm-hmm. to me. But then I went here from he's like, well, you know, I'm so busy. So how about if you know what your day look like? Why not say at the beginning of the day, Trina? Just so you know, my day is packed, mm-hmm. but I'm thinking about you. So I'm going to hit you when I get some time Wait, 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 later. wait. Wait a minute now. Yeah. How many times can that be the introduction to your day mm-hmm. before you say, Fuck I don't want to do this no more? Okay. Keep it a buck. Yeah. Because I can good morning you, tell you what my day looked like, and by day four, I'm not hearing from you no more. If you're so Even busy, though I'm legitimately... Like out here busting my ass running four businesses raising two badass little kids why are you trying to i feel like if you so so busy why do you why are you trying to i don't want to say why are you trying to date but yeah like, but it's why true are like why are you trying why are you pursuing you don't me have time you don't have because time. don't pursue me don't if you don't pursue got me because, i'm gonna be honest with you most if, if a nigga is really really like with intent it's because what he's been looking for you possess but he's not ready. But I can't. I. Oh my god. He not oh ready. my god. He not ready. <laughs> but he. I feel like they it. just blew your mind. Ooh, I feel that waiting shit. I'm not waiting no more. How, that's why I asked how long are y'all willing to wait because he may be shifting his life to get there. Oh my. God. I do. My Maybe schedule has been like this. Yeah. No, no, no. Pete Gang. <laughs> my <laughs> life has been like this: Monday through Friday, regular job. Afternoon, these recordings. Weekends, recording. I have no reason to free up my schedule, then boom, you pop up. Yeah. Now I got to work towards shifting all of this Whoa. to make the time so for you. So what you're saying is men make time for what they want to make time That's true. for. And, they do. and women give attention to people who they want to give attention to. So what's the difference? Because I, I don't have that's time. A, I'm so busy. That's, that's you fine. literally no, no, no. just said. You, you I'm notice how they just schedule. missed that whole, yeah. you notice how they missed that second part, right? The what, what, right? Part. Women give attention to what they want to give attention for. Right. So this guy can and be everything you ask him for, for. But me. man number K, number K, <laughs> is who you <laughs> focusing on. <laughs> Even though this dude over here, everything you can literally ran down a whole list. Check, Yo, check, this, check, double check. This conversation but this nigga is over here triggering right now. is legitimately <laughs> who really y'all want to put y'all attention on. Upset, bro. Like, this and then, is then, bad triggering. Then, right when now, you bro. find out you wasted all your time on number K, ah. now I need, I need, I, I just need to refocus on myself now. It Meanwhile, the say, perfect nigga. We- it, but sometimes it's in your friends. No, zone. How was... sometimes it be you can check. You can I want to choke off, this hoe. But if it's not, I'm if sorry. It's not no <laughs> if it's not no chemistry, it's not an attraction. Like I can't make myself like somebody that I don't like. You can have everything checked off, but if I don't like you, I don't like you. Okay, so let's like... back it up. 
Let's back it up. Make no, no, no. Let's back it up. Let's back it up. You bring up something back, that back, that back gets. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Back it up. Rewind. Stop being a 90s hip hop diva. My girl. <laughs> yeah, My girl's a white thing. But you said something that I swear to God, both niggas and women tend to forget. It is chemistry. Yes. I don't care how much money this dude got. Yeah. I don't care how fine this woman look. Mm. If y'all can't have a, just a natural conversation that feels natural, mm-hmm. You wasting your time, bro. That's very true. That's like, how, that's how ugly like when a chick is a vibe, she's a vibe for a reason. Right. That's not it. because she's dope to everybody. That's a, that's a, she that's needs to be joke. dope to you. That's, yeah. that's how ugly girls get pregnant. <laughs> ugly, vibe? ugly girls be vibes, dog. <laughs> okay. I mean, they can't be too. Yeah, yeah they can't be. Hit, hit, hit it with the Batman sixty six. Did I not move it down to the bottom? <laughs> Chemistry but, is so important. It yes, is. It's the one class I, I passed in school with eat with, with, with flying. Hey, colors. but no real shit though, because I've had like relations with like a lot of ugly girls. Hot, lovely relations. Okay. And it Not was really. because of the vibe. The like vibe. we vibe. Like I get along. I didn't mind you being in my space. Yeah. And then I hung out with pretty girls. I'm like, damn, bitch, you just like an airhead. Get go home. Why are you still here? <laughs> you know what's I'm funny? Glad I'm not a pretty airhead. <laughs> You can't be like they be so. I can't be. Did you, you just can't, say I can't, can't be? be? They be so I'm empty. Sorry. They be so empty. <laughs> no, no, no. I just want no, no. I love you to death. Just to bring it down the road. Like, all pretty girls can be airheads. They be so people. empty inside and superficial. Because <laughs> Jazz be like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Appreciate you for admitting that you can be stupid. You just said something. number K. I mean, I, I did that on purpose. I'm funny but... like that. I do that on purpose. I bring a lot to the table. Yeah, that, that, yeah. that conversation. The table. You got to bring okay. the no, table. No, Wait, I no. bring the table, the no. chairs, yes. the dinner, Stop. the wine, the dessert. Okay, wait, and a minute. wait a minute. Show up. Wait a minute. And then be Hold late. On. It's about Stop. to go show up to the Stop. Late. Stop. <laughs> right here, right now. <laughs> Hold on. Wait a minute. Is this, What day is it? It is uh, January 7th, 8th. 8th. Okay. 8th. Okay. January 8th, 2022. We are leaving this fucking table conversation back in Ikea. And twenty because it's one of the dumbest comparisons that people have. What you bring to the table? What you bring to the table? Who gives a fuck? If we okay. no no wait wait, wait wait we're gonna do uh, I don't do this often. You gonna shut <laughs> me up? Call back. What kind of table is it? <laughs> You're asking what do I bring to the table? What fucking kind of table am I bringing my shit to? It's a folding table. From it Walmart. could be a card table from Walmart. You can have a nice sturdy joint like this. You can have a fucking end table that's not that big and only fits a fucking lamp. So don't ask me what y'all, I got to bring to a table and your table ain't even fucking sturdy. Y'all, but that's y'all, what, y'all I said. But what, what if this leg is short? No, and we get, we, we get it. Okay, let me say this. This how I feel. When I say bring you to the table, you and this this eye roll. <laughs> Because I'm about to she, she back because in the bag. Like, like, she, she she ain't in the table, look, I'm, I'm just waiting for her to pop. Like, what you bring to this? I mean, it's, it's a metaphor, but it's true. Like, cause you got, you do have to. Cause I don't want to. I always say, like, you got to at least come to the table. What I, what I have, if not better. Right. I'm not going below, like what I already have. So it's 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 a valid question. And like, I what get do it. You bring to the table. I so, get it. But, but is I it think... a valid response when you say what you bring to the table? I say, well, what kind of table you got? Yeah. The reason why, I got a marble. but the reason why the I reason why I say we I know how that, you come in. You know how I'm coming. <laughs> Fuck, I don't. This is why. That's why we ask what kind of table outside. it is. Stand outside. It's a beautiful table. Stand outside. I have my no. table at seat eight. Right, this, like what if, if you like what if, if you your only table got a table eight? I don't one. know if that's I want this relationship. That's a lot. That's at your table. That's a lot of people. I didn't sign up for polygamy. I like to have people over. I did. I, I didn't sign nice... up for polygamy. Oh, okay. oh my god! Okay. No, the reason why I said can we leave it? I get what the metaphor is meaning, but I think it's getting lost in translation. So we need to come up with a new way to basically say, "How are you going to match what I'm match, making?" Oh, I was going to say match my energy. Yeah. Ma- no, not even just match my energy. Match my effort. Okay. Ooh. Because, right like you say, home. if I'm an entrepreneur yeah, and you're a nine to fiver, you're, you're success. Effort. You're successful where you are. But you being a nine to fiver may not be the same effort that I have as an entrepreneur. As an entrepreneur, I can get up and go on a vacation to Miami. You got to see if you got vacation days. That's true. 
That doesn't mean you ain't doing boss moves at your job, but you got restrictions that I don't have. So is it kind of like this should be some own guy that basically like about? Yeah, and that's she why don't want to date a nigga with a nine to five, right? And that's, that's why I understood. Her. People but her life shit. That's is her not life. constructed yeah. to date a nigga with a nine to five. And I get that. Because like he just said, if I want to get up and go to fucking Hawaii tomorrow, I can't bring Bay because you got to go punch that clock. Right. Now, and I'm I- not knocking you for punching your clock, but the way I live, if I want to get up and say I'm going here, I can do that. I can right. do that. And that's not saying that this is not a dope person or a good person or our vibes don't match. Our efforts don't match. As an entrepreneur, there's days where you may not go to sleep at night. You may be up all night because you got to get your shit together. I got a prime example. This fucking episode. I've been working on this episode all week. Someone who works a regular nine to five be like, well, why are you still up at two, three o'clock in the morning? I got shit to do. You may not understand it. I'm still up doing this. Oh, you put a lot of you put, I mean, you put all your time that you always doing the radio that you always caring about the podcast because this is what I do. There's people who depend on me to do what I do. That's my energy, that's my effort. You're comfortable with going to work, clocking in, answering those phone calls. I'm not saying that we don't have a good vibe, but my effort is different than yours. But damn tone like how are you going to damn me? What did this was just what you was <laughs> I mean, we, but that's, damn. That's, a, that's conversations that you have as you, you know, get in and know somebody and stuff. But I think it's Why valid. Side to, I, I think it's valid to like, what do you bring to the table? I, like, I don't, I don't want a man that's like in, in super in debt, got six kids and five baby mamas. Oh, Jesus, just um, but I'm saying, so what do you bring to the table? It's a legitimate question. I don't think- I got no it. kids and a great credit score and I still have time. I still have a hard time getting bitches to suck my dick. <gasps> Sir. I'm, I'm, fu- I'm, fucking around. I'm fucking around. It's not. It's definitely not that hard. Well, I'm an entrepreneur. I got multiple businesses. I own my home, my car, and I can't find nobody shit on his face. Shit. See? <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. Just talk your shit. I do all Why this, and you know, right? Hey. That motherfucker should be nose diving in this wait, vagina. Wait, wait a minute. That okay, sounds like. Took it there, so no, I took no, it wait a minute. Wait a minute. I took it there. Maybe look. She said, "Whoa." This sounds like. It, there, so it, it sounds there. like great I vagina. Yeah. I would want to be first, part of that. First of all, you're intimidating to a lot of dudes who ain't got shit to offer. Yeah. Number one, you but are. dick. But you dick. Are. Now, I'm even gonna, though they'll let you sit in their face, the, and it's the niggas with the mediocre dick. Oh, like, sir. But you don't care. <laughs> <laughs> she said, "Sir, you <laughs> could have kept that one to yourself." Like the audacity. The audacity. But you he came has over here with me and try to ghost me at the same time, sir. I mean, but you know what? In, in most niggas' defense. We don't know what we doing is terrible mm. because Until. who we have been doing it to mm-hmm. seems to like it. That's why that's, men, that's, that's why, why when men niggas, date down and women date up. And when Absolutely. niggas jump in your DMs that's with that catch, random always. shit, mm-hmm. mo- I don't think most women take the time to think about that. Well, this shit don't fly here, mm-hmm. but that shit flew somewhere so else. That's, that's what I used to say. <laughs> that's some, true. <laughs> some bitch had to say yes to the nigga who jumps in right. and say, can I eat the pussy? Somebody because he like, goes down the road and says, everybody, somebody has said yes, so he has no need to change what he does. That's why niggas approach women the way they do, as reckless as fuck, because some bitch done giggled in his face and thought it was cute. Thought it was cute. Omar, shit. They, he, Omar get play off that shit. But Omar also picks and chooses who to do that shit to. to, do that that's, shit to that's another no, wait, it work. wait uh, one of my viewers, hey Mimi, Marianne, she said that's wait, why everyone what, got what's a sneaky last name? Name. Herrera. Okay. Mariana Herrera. She a, she a boss bitch. I didn't know that because if it was our sister dog, she can get the fuck out your DMs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she said that's, yeah. That's, yeah, that's why, hell. Oh, not that Mimi. Straight no. to hell. Right. Uh, she said that's why everyone Damn, has we gotta be here tomorrow. Right. Sneaky links are becoming acceptable. My sneaky link, he acting funny right now. But anyways, that's a whole different <laughs> that, that's why sneaky leaks are acceptable. I mean, there's a whole topic about privately dating public, I, but that's I want to be somebody sneaky link. Sneaky link. Okay, I'm lying. Like that. That. Situation shift and sneaky links is not where it's yeah. at. But, but that's the norm, though. Social yeah, I don't media. Like this normal. So social I don't, media, I don't want social media, and online dating has made it normal. Think about it. You can go on Tinder, swipe left, think you're gonna meet a cute girl, yeah. and she's like, "Hey, uh, I'll be over at 8:30. I need my pussy ate this way." 
Like, I thought I was looking for a love connection. And you... I have not tried any online dating. People me keep trying either. to talk me into it, and I'm not. Your Facebook is damn near that. I don't be. The only I difference be between on Facebook, the bro. only difference between most online dating sites and what Facebook do is you got time to at least read the room before you jump out the window. Yeah, you the one pouring your I'm own trouble. I'm pouring troubles. it because this is the option. Right, because I definitely handed her a bottle. Like you pour your own trouble. Right? I just got a little. She got a whole bottle of water Salute. she could be drinking. I instead. am drinking my water. That's how you chase Salute. it. Take a shot. Chase it with some water. It's a two drink. Yeah, we're just waiting on everybody else to take a drink. I told y'all I would have taken a shot. She's not taking a shot. You want a shot of brown? I'm not drinking. I got to let my antibiotics work. I didn't drink it. Your I eyes got to work. It was at my, my mama said, you drinking brown? Oh, my God. Yeah, you drink Hey, mama. It's brown. She it's said, brown. Where, where are men taught how to treat women? Wait, were men taught how to treat women by their fathers or mothers? Big difference. I want to know. Ooh, mm. huge difference. Huge difference. Mm, yeah. You know why, mama? And I, I'm going to say this right now. Women who raise men te- teach the men how they want to be loved. Men raise mm. other men how you're supposed to love everybody. Mm. If you have a man who knows how to treat a woman, he's going to tell you the fuck shit he did, mm-hmm. but then he's going to tell you how he got your mama. And the shit he had to change to make that happen. Yes. A woman Hell will yeah. teach her son the things that she likes to do, but will never hold him accountable about the fucked up oh. the shit he mm, does. Not okay. everybody. Not every single mom. Not every single mom. Not every I single, hold, I hold my boys accountable. Not every single mom. You did. Dropping like, shit. You, you, live, you live and raise I'm literally them, a unicorn. Right, and I just different. don't understand. <laughs> That'd be literally my life. Like, what the fuck am I doing? What am I that, doing? Is big, that is the big difference. That's Maybe why you guys are unapproachable. I'm not unapproachable. You are. I don't Jazz knows she is. We've had that conversation. Her face. Because felt. maybe there's a guy who, you know, you're probably watching this. He's like, damn, you know, they fine. Oh, I already know they were I want to slide. I want to slide. Tell about that. I don't measure up. I don't I don't got what she needs for this to be an adequate situation. All I got is a good fucking vibe right now. Good fucking vibe. <laughs> at 37, and I, I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm not doing vibe at 37. You got vibe. Vibe is okay, basically man. potential this day. And and I, I don't, I'm not doing no potential. And I say I'm this not, because I'm not Bob the Builder Bear. These the are conversations. <laughs> like, as much as, you know, no nigga wants to be kicked in the nuts, yeah. mm-hmm. but these are conversations that I have with my cousin. This is why I love her, oh. because she always going to keep shit a buck. She like, you know, why you have, like, this much potential to be doing way more than what you're doing. Mm-hmm. But you do what you're comfortable with doing. Mm-hmm. You're getting older. The dating pool gets different when you get older. It's a whole new pool. I'm handsome and I'm funny and I'm charming. I talk a bitch out of draws. But that ain't always what get it <laughs> at 33. And I'm not going backwards like I can't be 23. At 23, I was fucking all kind of hoes because I was charming. I can talk. I make fun. I got jokes. Bitch I got jokes for days. Oh, when funny. I found out that bitch love, love the funny nigga, yeah. oh man, I was in my bag. Like, oh, you like jokes? Yeah, I got one. But once, <laughs> but once, <laughs> but once you cross over to that 30, now you dealing with chicks with car notes, right? mortgages, like, yeah. dating career and, paths, dating. college debt. Yeah, right. Now, now that conversation what you bring is, to the table is different. It's different. Like, okay, you cute. You funny. What else? What else? Right. Exactly. What when else? a bitch hits you with the what else, and you be like, oh, Duh. When <laughs> I don't, I don't know what else. I got dick. <laughs> you want to fuck? <laughs> it's just like, but that's how that's, that is, that's, that shit. that's always what it resorts to. But, yeah. but I'm but saying, like, like, oh my god, that's how you know like, they ain't got nothing else to these, offer. These are things that you know. I feel like with time you learn. Like but most what people, about niggas don't be willing to learn and be open to change. Like, yes, well, that part. Yeah, I fucked all these other hoes yeah. doing this. I'm gonna do you the same one, and, not, and about, it doesn't work. What because about that people? Sh- well, I'll say people. I'm gonna say men show up w- with a representative. Because these tricky. Hey, I definitely said my representative. Wait, 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 wait. Be some tricky tricksters. Explain. Because they present themselves yep. as one oh, thing, God. and they want the- this, this, and this, and then you get into it. And it's like this is not the nigga that but I met. But that's literally two what ago. before social media existed. <laughs> What's happened when you're in the club? When you're in the club, a nigga will present himself in a certain manner that will be having all the razzle dazzle that gets your attention. Yep. And yeah, then you go to hang out with him on a Tuesday yep. and you realize I'm not going up on a Tuesday. Yeah, nigga, you are you are a microwave TV dinner. Hell yeah. Check you sold me steak over here. Hell Hell yeah. Sometimes, sometimes they, a couple 
PlayStation and steak and, and yeah. then you like, got, okay, then you I got start, another like, one for like, you, Tom. A little bit, then you figure out like, man, uh, this, this is nigga. Nah. I got this, another call back. This is ground. This Ooh, is ground two, chuck. Two on the call back. <laughs> I before I we cut, before we, <laughs> before we cut the mics on, and I think the conversation was before you got here. Okay. Tom was like, "Dating is like a job interview." It is. So, the talking phase is usually when a job call you for your phone interview. Right. I can sell you myself. We just talking. We just texting. We ain't doing shit. Yeah. Then my actual job interview is usually what would you say? It was the, the first, first day. Couple, first I couple agree. of days. Yeah, so now I'm gonna show up. With the nigga that wants the job. You're right. <laughs> Once right. I get the job, I'm gonna be the type of employee that you that, that, that I'm gonna be the type of nigga that I am. Yep. Because I got the job already. No, yeah. no, you're still gonna be a good employee for the well, first yeah, for, 90 for days. 90 days you're the first 90 employee. days. You're on time. You're on time, yeah. do what you're supposed to. You do what you're supposed to. Now, once you so you just you. so you literally are proving my point. Yeah. But like, I, we, never, as we, we never said well, no, we never said you never said wrong. We just want to make sure. We just want to make sure that our, that our, our audience, even the simple ones in, in the upper raptors, understand. Right, you understand. They, they, you know. they listen to our funny. They don't yeah. like the sophisticated shit you was dropping. Yeah, like, like, who the fuck is the representative? I have no bullshit. I don't know. Who like, you my keep, I'm on the phone, keep hitting zero. <laughs> representative. I, like, I, I did not know what you meant, but I'm like, oh. I mean, show up when I was, when I was younger, I definitely sent my representative to a everybody. Lot of everybody I was taught the code switch when it came to even right. dating. You you be what the best you could look like, and then you gradually turn into who, who you, you are. Really are, and that's both men and oh women. You will have women who will have these high standards in the beginning because she doesn't want to seem like a hoe, but then. When you're in a relationship, you done fell in love when you committed to it. You come to find out that whole 90 days he was courting her. Bitch was a slut. And you couldn't even get a look at the pussy. You be like, oh. <laughs> no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. I also no, don't do that. I mean, I'm just saying, like, as a woman and like my friend group and women, I don't, I don't. You don't know no everybody's. Stuff. No, I'm saying, like, I don't be knowing women to really be doing that. You'd be surprised. I, know. I know a lot of hoes. <laughs> Maybe that's I don't know. I know, you know a, a, lot a lot of hoes too. I dated a few. Yeah, he did. I'm that, sorry he did. That, that was my whole angle as a kid. It's like, man, I'm saying, I get the hoes. Dating. You know what? <laughs> I wasn't looking for the hoes. I just ended the up hoes with them. Found the hoes, they found me. The hoes seen him as someone the safe. So <laughs> they the did. That? That's what it was. <laughs> I was a nice guy. You were a nice hey, guy. You were judging her I'm based on dead. her past experience if it got out. You may even forgive her when you find out that the whole football team used her for practice. Whoa. But the whole football, the whole team? football team? Bro. One or two? I can look fast. At you know how many people on a football team? It's a, at, at, it's at a, a 53 football. man roster. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fucking with you. Wait, but why? Hold on. Let, let me ask that. So why why do why do that even matter though? Like it does and it doesn't. Why does what? Body count. That body she was count fucking? Matter. Body count. It, when you get older. Now, if you really let the whole football team asking. fuck, I can't fuck. I mean. Body count never matters. <laughs> like, body count is just men's excuses to be able to get out of situations that they don't want to deal with it no more. Because it doesn't. we don't care, honestly. And most no, men really most don't. men will be like, well, if she fucked these you people, that, that means she knows what she like. I fucks with that. Your lips. On the couch. Oh, the red lips. Mm-hmm. Bro, you are so easily distracted. <laughs> I am. I'm like, I'm like a monkey, dog. Like just squirrel. like, red, red lips are kind of my thing. Like, like I squirrel. I guess because I've seen Trini enough that this is just This Trini. is the first time I've met her. I know that. I have to remember. Think, but we've been thing. like social media friends for a while, He's right? social media I'm friends. I'm social like media friends with everybody. But I mean, I, but be, I mean. Like I be, been so, I be, I be, that's a, that's another thing. I've oh. been locked up like <laughs> what? He, he, he's he's institutionalized, okay. like, like I don't even think he's, <laughs> out of a month. I don't, I don't think he's free right <laughs> now. Two? No, I'm not in jail right okay. now. Okay, I was like, I don't even know if he's but, free right now. Because I kept it cool. Because like I've been seeing this ten year challenge on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Ten years did a lot of you motherfuckers wrong. <laughs> I just want to put that out there. Like, oh how, how you looked at 23 and how you look at 33, <laughs> you lost. Whatever you did, don't do it no more. For okay. Next, what, go back to your 23 for the next 10 years of life. I don't know about all them. I'm aging like fine wine, baby. Yes, Period. Period. It's a dimple. Period. It's a dimple for me. 
<laughs> that's that sophisticated box. All right, so we, we have. That is a sophisticated box. I bet that box come wrapped like a pair of Jordans. You know, remember how the Jordans used to come? Yo, you motherfuckers came out. Oh this, it was a box in a box. Yeah. Sweet, yeah. yeah, that's how the Elevens used to come. It was a box in a box. <laughs> Uh, with the with the with the with the rapping baby, we have come to the end of the episode. <laughs> oh, you can't. Right there, right? You can't. I like to thank. I like to thank Jazz. And, Wait, we done? And Miss yeah. Nicole. Oh, okay. <laughs> you lying? I, I got some more shit. Hold on. We got. No, you gotta remember, I got my. Nine, I, I got nine o'clock show. Oh, you, next oh. tour, bro. It, it's next it's eight forty-five. Next stop. It's eight forty-five. What's the next? We still got 15 minutes, minutes, bro. Huh. I know how to clap. I gotta, well, yeah, keep talking. I, I got like to go answer. We didn't right, we not, got to the Ain't nobody asked the motherfuckers what? to be on time. Yeah, no, they didn't go leave here with any. Go, go ask the question while I go answer the door then. Okay. Shit, I, I still don't got no answer. I still don't have no answer. <laughs> 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 motherfuckers said, we answered the question, but I ain't got no answer. <laughs> I can't right. get the answer for real shit. Hell no. If you don't know what it is, what does it look like to you? Like, what do you think love is supposed to look like? Well, we talked about a lot of that attention to detail, communication, no fucking baby mama drama. Um, no mama drama, too. I've had a lot of, I've dealt with a lot of men that got mama drama or their mother, like, depends on them a little bit too much. Like, God damn, this your man or this your son. Your, your dating shit. pool is definitely full of bleach and piss. Uh, what? the Milwaukee dating pool. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. This. I agree. Has a lot of pee in it that I'm close with. Just period. Yeah. Do you, you see how your mama treats your brothers? We got different moms. But it's different. like, and that's how every mother is. That's unconditional. I get it, but Dan, where's the where do we draw that line? Like you are that is your mother. This right. this is not your boyfriend. This is what? not your man. Yeah. This is your son. This is what? my man, ma'am. Right. Right. She, ma'am. <laughs> this is my what? nigga. What I miss? I feel like a lot of moms enable their sons. She says she like, don't want to date no mom. Their son, they're no, your you son don't. and not your fucking. Yeah. You don't. You have to remember, you, single motherhood is like such a big thing that a lot of them latch on to their kids. And they make their son their boyfriend. I don't. No, no, they do. A lot of them make their son their boyfriend. He's they make right. them top I, priority. And they do all these things because I love my kids, but that's an unconditional love that can yeah, never be taken away. Yeah, we just so you they, can't fuck your kid. There is not sex. Think about it is, is love is not sexual. They're not one and the same. That's why you can fuck a hoe and pay her, but go home and love a woman who ain't shit because they're not one and the same. I just want to be loved at the end of the day. Aww, Us too, I shit. Me like too. You. Us too. That's it. Like, like I really we just love the story. I really just want to be loved. Like yeah. on some real everybody shit. Everybody like, just wants to be loved. Yeah, that's like really unconditionally. It. Like, like everybody I'm, wants I'm, to be loved. I'm, re- I'm reaching too much. <laughs> you said he never gonna be loved. Why? What? Right. The way I the way I want to be loved. He want to be loved like the Notebook. Me too. I'm a hopeless romantic. Like. Mm-hmm. The only way he wants to be loved is gonna be from his mama. Regardless of what Ooh. he do, she love him regardless. You know what so what you saying? want a woman that's gonna love you? Gonna love your dirty, love right. love your dirty draws. Like I don't want you to just be I'm like, like I don't want you to let me. Like, to love yeah. I don't want I you. I don't want you to let me walk all over no, you. Like I ain't into that kind of shit. Over. But Those I pictures. want you to love me, Uncle. Yeah, like but why my you feel flaw. Like women don't do that. My flaws. We going back to the mama. You know, women love unconditionally because look at the type of shit women put up with for the sake of love. So I don't know how you, how y'all feel like you can't find a woman. I didn't say that he did. We do that a lot. A lot. I didn't say that. A lot. We do that. Maybe I just ain't met that person who was willing. I think what's happening. Understand me unconditionally. No, what I think is happening is. Those the conversation we had earlier, where what you did in your twenties you can't keep doing in your thirties right. because you're not doing those things that are expected to be done in the thirties. You're not meeting those people. It's like a job. If the job is on the bus line, you're comfortable with taking that one bus to work every day. But the best jobs are the ones you have to drive to, the ones that are not on the bus line, the ones where the niggers can't get to. <laughs> I don't. I don't work with not a nigga. I'm the only one. But it's a different vibe, right? Oh, that's a, it's a weirdo vibe too. It's I hate it. Weird love is weird. Love is weird as fuck. 
I'm because you'll be sitting there doing shit and dressing a certain way. It was like, why the fuck am <laughs> Andre 3000 was in love? Ooh, Yo, that's the kind of love I want. Love I want to You want to air Bro, like, I just want to feel some shit I ain't never felt. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Big pause. Because Frank Ocean was sad, definitely on a whole other wave. <laughs> but, but, Yo, but, when I found out thinking about you was about fucking a dude, I was like, this is the coldest gay love song I've ever heard in life. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> you call it what but, you no, want, but he but. was talking about fucking that nigga for the first time, and he was, <laughs> it was mind blowing at the but it was, But it was raw. No, no. All BS aside, though. <laughs> It and, was it was, the, and it was, was raw, raw, too. It was raw. It was unconditional. And he yes, meant and he, it yeah, to he, the yeah, point it, is the, it, it has space in his head and heart. I've been drinking, bro. Raw man sex. He made it, he made it, he made it sound so beautiful. I remember how... I remember the first time how you feel. <laughs> even though it was my first time. I don't know. I don't know a new so feel. And it will never get old. Not in my soul. Breaking my this soul. shit down. Well, that's because we knew the song before this we knew Even though the, the, the spirit keep it alive. It's going to go down this road until it turns know, from not, color to black and white. He meant that shit. That's the kind of love I want. Just not from a nigga. Don't bring ocean love. With that being said. I love women. With that being said, though, we have honestly now officially came to the end of this specific oh, episode. Yeah, we're done. I would love, Still love, lovely. love to thank the young ladies this liquor for joining us. Working. I got to cut it, this nigga working, off like, working, now. Period. You do. Before Juan goes down a rabbit hole where he don't belong. <laughs> because I've already went left. The fact that he knew that song word for word. <laughs> nigga, I'm going to listen to it. We all did because we didn't know. We didn't know. No, no, no. I'm not even talking about that. It's the fact I was going to say. That I know what he was talking about. No, 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 no. That you felt it like that. We are. Means that dog. He said, if you think I don't love you, what he said, you got a beach house in Idaho. Right. I don't love you. Because even though he was talking about whoever he was talking about. It was, no, no. It was the expression. It was the expression of love. The feeling is unisex because that's the type of love I want. Just not from a guy. Yeah, that's what I took See, from that. When you say it like that, <laughs> no, I get what no, you. No, 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 but it was nasty. <laughs> but is I feel you, dog. It is, it is, love. it is unconditional. It's, it's pure love. I think every, people can't get to this what they want because everybody's so guarded and yeah, scared. Absolutely. Because and they're scared, absolutely. They're scared to be vulnerable. Yes, because that's society real. has made it a joke to be vulnerable. Well, social media gets on here every single day and shame people for loving out loud. They are looking yeah. for the moment well, you look, fail and that I nobody, I me nobody, out loud. nobody, nobody wants. Me. Be like, <laughs> nobody wants yeah. to love out loud no more. It's to the point Promote right now business. where Wait. people are showing the person they're with. With a fucking emoji on yeah, their face. Well, that's wild. because you don't want nobody coming to you like a woman. Uh-uh. Yeah, We're we gonna go like ahead and woman. stop. We're gonna stop right there because that's the next stop on the tour. Well, I'm yeah, well, is I'm is loving out loud. Have to come to me like a woman. Oh, oh my. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna have some problems. Notice how this side of the table is called. And notice how this side of the table is reckless. You can have. Okay. Will you That's be? What, what's the next episode? That's, it's loving. It, love it, uh, I thought it was the intimidate. No, 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 that third. The next one is uh, loving privately, publicly. No, yeah. No, okay. So we loving out loud next week. You coming back? I'm coming back. Okay. She's it's coming not, back. Who, I who else gonna be here? Out. I didn't know who else was uh, fucking we, here. We well, Sarita, a people. Sure. Sarita, no, I'm trying to set this rule where we can only have six people in the studio. Uh, okay. For COVID well, regulation. She was the only person. Uh, no, we got Sarita. We got. uh my homegirl, uh, Shay, is supposed to be coming. And somebody else, too. You know what? Fucking come on. Right. Just just come on. Okay. So people fall off all the time. Right. So cars up. Cars up. Right. I'm invited. Cars up. Your church. <laughs> you, can, you can come in and sit on the couch if you want to. Okay. Because <laughs> I know you. you, you all right. Know. So. Okay. Well, we're logging off. So it's this the one crown. In the call, Fly wait, Girl wait. Fibro. Make sure that you follow me at Fly Girl Fibro. And also make sure that you book your appointments at Period. the Fly Nail Studio. Yeah. Because we're logging off. We don't have to Fly give her a moment. <laughs> We ain't got, we ain't she took give, it. We ain't got to give her her moment. <laughs> I mean, he was logging off, so I had to throw that in there. 
Shout out to Just Jazz. She can't come back because she didn't drink this episode. She can. I can't come back. Yeah, I'm always welcome yeah. back. I'm chilling. Absolutely. Stop playing with me. She's always she welcome I'm back. She welcome back trenches. on where I come the from. The trenches. You know what? We all in the trenches. She walk. Yeah. She welcome we back on where I come from. Hey, bro. I cut all. I cut all this shit off. Shut up. You, we you need a gospel podcast. You cut it off. Cut all this shit off. All right, with that I like to thank for I like to thank everybody who tuned in to the first episode yes, of the What you. Is Love tour. Shout out to Jess Jazz, the Fly Girl with Five Bro, Trina and Cole in the group. Shout out to everybody. Uh, so uh, Tone uh, is uh, finna do some old nigga shit. I'm finna go home thank and smoke me. a blunt. So I'm not about to go outside. Ooh, <laughs> it's a plan. But with that being said, people, we are fucking out of here because one is drunk. I'm not drunk.